Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. In the previous session, here we had a significant downtrending day, just like we have seen several times here in the past couple of months. After each of those major down days, we've seen a strong reversal back up the following day. And in addition to the next one to two weeks, we've seen continuations. This is a little different right now. We're seeing a very narrow range here develop in uh, the hours here ahead of the RTH open. Just 24 points of range. That's 48% of average. It's been averaging 50 points on both a 5 and 10 day split. So not a whole lot of strong overnight movement. We did not see a rejection at the previous uh sessions low which could open up a, a trap and a return back up instead we're just kind of quietly trading around the previous sessions midpoint this right now could be indicative of more weakness to come so any failure of 4250 could open up another round of weakness here uh, as we perhaps see a, a push back toward the lower FOMC key levels we have 4223.75 to be hit and 4176s that could still be in play again uh, whenever we do find that strong low, the likelihood of a reversal remains very good. Taking a look here at the NQ, you'll see here the NQ pulling back as well off the highs from several days ago. Amazon uh, fired off a sell signal here a few days ago that has opened up a pullback that's very, very similar. We are now back toward 14.4. Again, closing above the previous session's midpoint yesterday and now trading in a very narrow range today just 34 percent of average range it's been averaging 200 on a five and ten day split right now we're at 66 points so not very uh, indicative of a reversal instead very very narrow price action quiet digestive movement that could lead to new lows yet ahead uh, so again, we're watching to see how this plays out. The previous month's close price will be very important. Any failure to hold that 570 could begin to open up some weakness ahead. Let's take a look now at crude oil futures. Right now, crude oil um, experiencing a significant day in the previous session, a tremendous sell-off through 70, falling 8% yesterday at one point and nearly reaching the 100% target of this key range. We talked about this key range being important. The upside target forecasting 83, the downside forecasting 64.54, and we're almost there now. Again, another major, major push downward, but not seeing rejection on these lows, not seeing a rejection at the previous session's low or the previous session's close. Instead, a very muted range today, just 44% of ADR. Um, that's a dollar twenty-five of range when it's been averaging two eighty plus on both five and ten day splits. So again, very weak still. We're not seeing uh, any signs of rejection yet, which means we could see further weakness down toward that sixty-four fifty, maybe down into those fifty-fours, which shows us the March and April FOMC key levels. All right, taking a look lastly at gold futures. This one is up right now about eight tenths of a percent here. A nice pullback, higher low, and a continuation so far. This one has been on a path higher here. You can see that 1795, 1800 level got the higher low here, or the failed low rather, and a push to new highs. Higher low here that's developing. And now, again, as we, we talked about yesterday, if it could form a strong low here, it could open up the next move to 1863.80. That's the FOMC key level from June 16th. We sold off away from it hard, found rejection, now looking for price to come back to that level down the road. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.